welcome back to my youtube video so in this video i'm going to explain you the swift ui gonna take the future place or still the ui kit you have to learn so i have worked personally in both of them i have worked into the swift ui i have worked into the ui kit and it took me lots of time to understand like i have to learn lots for the swift ui or i have to quit the ui kit so it's even though i was also confused when i started learning for the swift ui i was not able to decide which platform gonna rock into the future but today i came with the conclusion like which one is the best and where you have to use the swift ui where you have to use the ui kit yes. I know the Swift UI is the latest programming language which is provided by the Apple into the 2019 but still UI kit is a master level phenomena into the iOS application development but you have to understand where you have to use the Swift UI and where you have to use the UI kit so this complete video will blow your brain watch till end whatever i'm going to discuss it's the entire journey of my life when i started the ios development in 2013 and i came into the conclusion now okay so first we have to understand what is the swift ui swift ui is the programming language which is developed by apple in and dropped in 2029 every developer got confused in the initial stage like how to use the swift ui but apple is investing too much on the the swift ui development application and not only that the apple is branding the swift ui future for the development yes still there is lots of road blocks if you are experienced developer and you have worked into the swift ui and ui kit also then might be you are aware a little bit about the road blocks what type of road blocks can be there into the swift ui so for example whenever you are writing the code for a file then you cannot take too much views into the same file you have to break down your file into the multiple classes multiple views then only it will work otherwise the compiler will not able to run it and if you are handling the big application something like a swiggy zomato type of application then this type of application gonna blow your brain if you are using the swift ui because the code hierarchy will mess up completely so on the basis of that you will able to understand you have to use the swift ui or you have to use the ui kit so now i give you the one small example for the swift ui why you should not use now i will tell you why you need to use the swift ui because the apple itself is branding the swift ui so definitely after few years like one year or two year the future gonna take cover by the swift ui as a developer it's my suggestion you have to learn both of the programming language but as an experienced developer you have to know you have to decide where you have to use the ui kit and where you have to use the swift ui now i have told you about the swift ui now i will tell you about the ui kit what is ui kit actually ui kit is a mature application development phenomena into the apple which provide you the complete manual hierarchy management of the views and you have to use the multi threading also for updating the data because you cannot update the data same like swift ui swift ui is easy in comparison of ui kit but still ui kit is providing the luxury phenomena for the developer to manage their application to manage their code base okay previously if you are aware if you learn little bit about the ios application development there was a programming language objective c so the objective c was the first programming language with the help of objective c the developer was developing the ios application but when they released the ios operating system 2 then they release the ui kit with the swift programming language so from ios 2 to ios 16 which is the current operating system still the ui kit is into the market demand so whenever you are talking about the ui kit then you uh, then few things is coming in your mind like delegate classes storyboard buttons labels so these things is coming in your mind that is completely fine because ui kit provide you the manual management of the views you have to drag and drop your views and then you can use it into the ui kit because it's give you a massive control over the view you can manage from anywhere you can drag and drop you can take right you can take left you can manage the constraint of your view completely so it's completely manageable and it's great for the big application but nowadays what happen many of the developer feeling when they are working with the ui kit they are feeling like they are 
learning into the old school so it's not like that for the developer developer means you have to learn all the things whatever is coming in your front if you are an ios developer then my suggestion you have to learn the swift also you have to learn the swift ui also so that you can compare as an experienced developer which one is the best for which project now let's understand with the help of a small example where i will take one button into the view and i will implement the click event for the button okay first we are going with the ui kit so here i have created one project with the ui kit where i have the main storyboard in main storyboard i am going to take one button so here first i have to select the button then i need to give this button over here and here i have my view controller inside the view controller i, I will drag and drop this button so that i can implement the click event over here so i will drag and drop and i can say button click me so this is the phenomena for taking the click event for the button now i have to add the click event for the button so i will take did set here self dot button click me dot add target here i will give the target is self and selector here i have to create one uh, method the, that is obj c type private func on tap click me here we are just printing hello world and now on tap now dot touch up inside so this is the click event for the into the uh, ui kit okay now i am going to run it so when we are running it then you will see the output and uh, the following it will print the hello world if i tap on this button then it is printing so this is the phenomena for handling the view inside the ui kit okay now the same type of example i will create into the uh, swift ui i have already created the swift ui here i'm just going to take one more button so for that we have to just use the button here the title click me and if i tap print hello swift ui so now i am going to run this application also now here you can see the button click me if i click then you can see hello swift ui in swift ui you have to write very few line for handling any of the task but in a storyboard or in ui kit you have to write multiple lines for managing the things first you have to design then after designing you have to assign the manual click event or manual assignment for the labels manual assignment for the images but in swift ui you do not require all these things so okay now let's discuss about the future impact and the career opportunity for both of the programming language so here i am providing the million dollar advice for you so whenever you are thinking about the ios application developer then you have to learn both of the programming language this is my advice because if you know about both of the programming language then you can choose it wisely where you have to use the swift ui where you have to use the ui kit and many of the developer is still thinking like the apple is promoting too much for the swift ui yes it is true they are promoting and this is going to be future into the ios application development so it's true you do not have to leave the swift ui you have to learn the swift ui if you want to see your career into the ios application development but as a experienced developer you should aware about the ui kit also and you should learn because still since if you will see the ios 2 application has been started when when the operating system ios 2 came then the swift uh, swift application development started and now it is ios 18 so still officially they did not announce the ui kit gonna be crash into the future here is the learning point for you because the application which has been developed since ios 2 to until now those are still into the ui kit and still many of the developer is developing into the ui kit because it is working okay they are not going to stop in next 3 uh, to 4 years that for sure so you have to learn both of the programming language if you want to be into the market so don't think it's just an war it's a toolbox you have to learn and you have to work accordingly don't fear about the future future is there in both of them if you are writing in your portfolio that you are aware you learn about the swift ui then definitely your interviewers or your hiring manager definitely will happy after seeing that if you are just writing that you are aware only the ui kit then definitely there will be few question for the hiring manager also because every of every company who is looking for a good candidate they are looking the experience and they are looking for the good candidate who is good into the learning so if you would like to learn swift ui then i have created the 
series for the Swift UI and you can watch the complete series after click on the playlist and you can find out any of the video and if you required any video for your personal topic or any of the topic which is coming in your mind which I did not cover yet then you can comment into the comment box. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great time ahead.